Like the hips don't lie, the puck doesn't lie. Hey everyone, Jay here, back again with another video for our Troubleshooting Espresso series. So this time, we're talking about puck technique. What that is, especially for professional baristas, is when you're making drinks for other people, you really can't test it yourself. You can't really taste it or do anything to the drink. So you have to rely upon indications that will tell you exactly how that drink turned out. And so that's what we're gonna talk about today. It means we have our portafilter, this one is a, a bottomless that I just pulled from the shop. Standard port filter. We've got our tamper as well. So what we're looking for is in our espresso making, we're going to, of course, grind, dose the coffee, distribute, and then temp that coffee into the port filter. Then we're gonna place that port filter in the machine, lock it, load, brew it, and then we're gonna let the, the, the shot pull. Now, a lot of people use different metrics to determine when their shot is done. Some people will use time, some people use volume, some people use weight. We kind of use a combination of those, plus some telltale signs. We'll go into that in another video. For now, what we're gonna look at is the result after. So once we have hit the switch and stop the brew, then we're gonna pull the portafilter out and then inspect it and look at the puck. Inside the puck, which will still be inside the basket. Does it look wet? Does it look dry? Does it look kind of soupy and squishy or does it look kind of firm? Also what we're looking for is we're gonna be looking around the edges. Are there any problems? So basically, are there any holes, any burrowing of holes that are indicative of channeling that's happening in the, port in the portafilter? And then finally, we're gonna knock it out and then look at the bottom of the basket. Does the basket have any residual oils? Is it light? Is it medium? Is it heavy? You know, and those will be other indications to tell us, was that a good shot? Was that one that we want to continue with? Do we need to change our parameters? Do we need to address certain issues? What are the different things and what do they kind of indicate? Is we want to use the right amount of coffee in the right size basket that will offer very little room for expansion between the top of the puck to the bottom of the dispersion screen inside the group head. So the less room for expansion, the less you'll get this soupiness, you'll get, the less you'll get these like, almost like wavy lines inside the puck or on top of the puck. The less space that you offer the puck to expand, the tighter, the more solid and the drier it will be at the end. The next thing we're gonna be looking at is compaction. We will use our finger to press and just to see how dry or how wet is the puck. Then we're going to look at the edges and look for any kind of aberrations inside the puck, especially for holes. If we see holes, that really tells us that we have not really gotten enough coffee distributed across the basket and we need to do more of the distribution. Then we knock the puck out. After we've knocked the puck out, if we look at the basket here at the bottom, right, what that's going to tell us is, well, we're looking for residual oils, right? Is, it, is there a little bit of oil? Is there a lot of oil left here in the basket? What that really means is, did we stop the espresso at the right moment? And that's something that you really have to be a little bit more confident in your skills and the craft before you can really accurately make that judgment. Let's just say you're using a basic metric of time. If we use the SAA standard 20 to 30 seconds, you want you to stop your espresso brewing somewhere between 20 to 30 seconds. So when you stop that espresso, let's say you stop it at 21 seconds and you have a little bit here, or if you stop it at say 30 and you have some residual here, that will indicate that you, on both cases, you have missed the perfect window for that espresso. And the amount of oil that's in the puck will show you whether it was a little bit you missed it or by a lot. And that's really quite the most simple way to, tell, to see it. If you stop the shot and there's no residual oil left in the basket, then you know that you have stopped the shot at the right moment when you've extracted all the good and none of the bad. You know, there's a lot of positive char characteristics that are coming out of the coffee. And then once you've passed that point, then you're only gonna start to get more of the, the bitterness, the more of the unwanted flavors. If it's light, if it's heavy, it just indicates whether you are too, how far away from the ideal extraction. Now it's up to you to understand whether it was over extracted or under extracted, right? So if you're at 20, 10, if you're 0, 10, 20, 25, click, 30, 40, blah, 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 blah. 
where you stop this and whether it's going to be clean or oily will tell you whether or not it was over or under. That's basically what we're looking for in today's video. And we're going to look at some real life examples that I was pulling this past week just to, uh, to give you a better idea of what to do. All right, so let's look here. We are looking at a C0213. Okay, lock and load. Here we go, brew, looks like it's a good to-go cup, to-go Americano. So we're looking now, uh, gotta get the, gotta get the thing to, uh, there we go. Looks like it's flowing decently. A little bit getting wavy now. I'll probably stop about now. Or well, maybe now would be good. <laughs> all right, so let's pull that puck out. Or let's pull that basket out. And All right, let's stop right there. If you look at this freeze frame, you're going to see the puck itself looks a little bit of that waviness, right? Probably we didn't get just enough of a coffee in there. Probably want to get a little bit more or maybe cut a little bit coarse. It depends on the shot. The shot actually looked, the shot just looked all right. So we probably were just a little bit low on our quantity. We want to get a little bit more, maybe one or two more grams to really fill that up and get a little bit more uh, crema development in the cup. All right, so one of the other problems that I see here is right by the... Um, the portafilter handle, there is a bit of tunneling. So again, there's a problem there, a little bit of distribution. We want to make sure that a lot of times breezes will get a, get around like this, across, but they're missing right here. You don't want to miss right here. Let's do a little compaction test. Yeah, you can see that's a little bit soupy. And then, yeah, you can see that it comes off on the finger. We don't want to really see anything on the finger. And look at the, um, the basket. The basket does have light oils. And what does that tell us? It tells it it's very light, so it's just a little bit over extracted from the ideal. Now, as we were looking at the video, I was thinking that we should have stopped early. So I was calling for us to stop just a little bit quicker. I think and this is indicative of a slightly over extracted shot. All right, we're tamping. Flush the group head always good, put the spouse back on. So this is espresso over ice. Yeah, looking that bad. There we go. It's, it's, it's smoothened out. There's that bit of wavering just starting that it would stop. Ah, good. Good. We caught that at the right moment. That's good to see. All right, let's look at this shot here. Okay, look at the bottom here. It's a little bit darker, but um, look at the bottom. There's a bit of water left here, so it's a bit soupy. You know, if you notice that the beginning part of the extraction, it was a little bit slow. And I'm wondering, like, with this soupiness that's left, maybe we're a little bit on the finer side of the espresso. The way to rectify that is maybe maybe coarsen slightly, just to give it a little bit more flow. And at least on this one, we don't have that uh, channeling that we saw in the previous puck. It's a little bit on the soft side. Look at that. Yeah, there's see, see how much residual oil was left on the finger? A little bit soft. All right, so look at that. We'll stop here again, and you can see, compared to the last puck, there's very, very little oil. There's still some oil. It's not as clean as we want it to be. So when we were watching it, we were saying that we should stop, and then we did stop. Just a moment later, this is the result. So slight over-extraction. Could be better. Could definitely be better. Okay, here we go now. Start of the shot. It's coming out. Need to adjust that camera a bit. Again, start starting off a bit slow. Again, I'm wondering if we're going to have the same result that we just saw. You know, these shots were, are, were being made back to back, so chances are we may see the same result. There we go, smoothening out. Starting to waver. We should about to stop out of now. And a little bit long. I think we're going to see a little bit of residual oils left at the bottom. All right, let's stop there. Okay, as you can see, we're seeing the same thing with this one as the last one. Waving a little bit more wet towards the edges. 
We don't see the uh, the channeling that we had in the Latin, in the first videos, which is good. We've kind of adjusted there, um, but it's still pretty wet, and we went a little bit long. Just catch my space again. So let's go and have a look at the. The video continues. Yeah, there we go. Pressing it down. It's still a little bit wet. And then let's look here. Yeah, again, similar results. Similar stop. We stopped at a similar time uh, compared to where we think we should have stopped. And there's just a little bit of oil left. So just slightly over extracted. Still probably a great shot, but it could be better. Okay, shots in. Brewing, we're making, looks like a latte, ice latte. This one, ice latte through the, without the spouts. Looks like it's pouring pretty quickly. There we go, stop there. Now let's have a look. Okay, there we are. If we look here at the right by the right by the handle again, we've got that same recurring problem of the, the channeling. So we're not getting around enough. I've got to make sure we get around enough. Otherwise, that's why it look, kind of looked kind of runny. I think that's why we saw that right away. It kind of looked runny from the spout. This is probably why. Okay, let's press down on that. Let's see, see, a little more residual oils. Oh, look at that, that's way, okay, so if we look at this now. Here's an example of a shot that was way over, way overdone. We let this shot run a little bit too long. So when we're talking about a lot of oil, this is an example of a lot of oil. Probably should have stopped this, this shot four or five seconds earlier. We can do a lot better. Okay, now this is a ice soy latte. This is Gabby's ice soy latte. You might have seen her video for uh, for that on our vlog a couple weeks ago, a week or two ago. So this one's running a little bit slower, as you can see, compared to the, the early, the previous one. Better. This is a better shot. There we go. Now we get a little bit of running. We're getting a little bit of flickering. I want to stop right about now. There we go. Maybe a, we're going to have a little bit of oil left in this one, I think. All right, you can see there's a little bit in that left side again. A little bit of that channel. Looks like it, there's more channeling there. Why? We're not getting enough distribution. It's still looking a little bit on the wet side. Let's see how the finger test goes. Yeah, a little bit needs just a little bit. This is telling us that that was still too long. We should have stopped a little bit earlier. If the previous video was a heavy amount of oil, this is a medium amount of oil, a moderate amount of oil. So we should have stopped maybe through two, three seconds before we did. Probably would have given us the right example. But the shot looked good. Shots start out really well. But here's in, it's telling us that we let it go just a little bit too long. All right, let's move on. So now we're doing a double shot espresso. It's coming up slow, which is all right. That's typically okay. Okay, shot done. That was a little bit on the longer side, I would say, because probably got too much coffee. That's another puck. That looks overall pretty good. A little bit of channeling there at the left side. 
it probably that's probably just more deformity looks relatively dry but this one oh yeah we're running a little bit long that was a bit long you could kind of feel it was long didn't you so a little bit more heavy on the oils telling us we're too long so gotta watch that gotta cut it down All right, let's look at some pucks at the moment. So we're gonna pull out some of the pucks we've been playing with. That one looks, that was the, the last one. Not too bad, a little bit dry. A little bit, a little bit wet. This one, the one before that falling apart. Yeah, that's not a good thing. That's not a good sign. This one, not bad. bad. We'd like it to be nice, more dry than that. This one is iced Americano with a little bit of milk. You know, the way that's been performing these last three shots, I was thinking, I'm starting to think that maybe we should have been uh, thinking about coarsening the grind just slightly, get a little bit more flow, allow us to put a little bit more coffee, pack it in a little bit more. Because look how slow it's coming out. It's coming out pretty darn slow. Like we should have had a, a smooth, we should have had a transition into the smooth flow way by now. All right, let's, here we go. So it looks pretty decent. I mean, it's okay. It's nothing, we've, it's more that we, 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 it's more of what we've been seeing. Let's press it down. Mm, could be better. A little bit sticky. Let's see the puck now. Well, the puck's holding together relatively well. Oh, coming apart there at the end. And yeah, a lot of residuals. This time though, I think that if we look at it now, that, that puck's really deep in the, um, in the oils. However, the shot was really slow, really, really slow, volume-wise very slow. I'm thinking that this sign of oils, this is actually an indication of under-extraction, that maybe we didn't get enough caught water through the coffee to really bring up as much of the flavor of the coffee that we could. Like, that to me, look, looking back now in this video, it seems that that was definitely more of an under-extraction, rather over-extraction. Let's hope that comes through in the video. Shots coming out. Shots coming out, not bad. Yeah, looking all right. So remember, the, compared to the last one that was really, really super slow, this one coming out and coming together, this one coming together almost right away, this is what we really would like to see. Now it's starting to waver. We're probably done. But I think we're probably distracted making the, uh, the milk. There we go. Yeah, a little bit long. A little bit long. Thank you. All right, so here we go. Let's look at this puck. Okay, so in this case, we see that there's still a little bit of that kind of uh, not-so-pretty top. But we do have a good marking of the uh, dispersion screen screw there in the center. And we do not have any of the uh, the channeling that, we see on, that we've seen on a lot of the other shots. That hole that's normally on the left side, that's no there, that's not there. We did see that the, the shot did start out smooth and well, and that turned out, that looked really good. What we did see also was that it looked like it went long. We're gonna find that in just, just now. Yeah, a little bit wet still. I think we still could use more coffee, but there. So, so if you could see here, there is a little bit of residual oil left. That's the little bit of residual oil from the over extraction. This is iced Americano. Looking good overall. There it is. It's pulsing along. It's probably. Maybe that's about good right there. Huh. All right. Crema floating, it's beautiful. All right, so let's look here. 
Oh, uh, looks like a nice tight. Looks like it's a little bit slightly drier than before. Not quite as dry, not quite dry that we'd like it to be, but the the patterning doesn't look as rippled. You can still see the indention from the uh, dispersion screw. That's good. And then, but again, here on the left side, we still see more channeling. Got to work more on that technique there. Let's see what else. Let's press it down. A little bit tighter. A little bit tighter. A little bit tighter. A little bit tighter. That's good. But a little bit long. So look at that. We've got a lot more oils left. A little bit long. All right, so that's all the videos we got for today. Hope that helps you to understand a little bit more what we're talking about when we're looking at the puck and trying to find ways to determine whether or not our shot was really great. I think this is one of the key things to understanding is how to look at the puck and how to let the, uh, the puck and the basket talk to you and tell you how you need to change your technique and what the problems are that you need to address. If you liked the video, hit the like button. You know, of course, subscribe if you'd like. We'd love to have you a subscriber. And if you have any questions or comments or suggestions, or even hate mail, put that in the comments below. Definitely want to hear what you have to say. Spro, uh, Spro Hamden on uh, Instagram, as well as on our website, sprocoffee.com. Um, of course, if you want to buy coffee, we've got great coffee there for you. And we even started a subscription program where you can customize your subscription with any coffees that you want, any combination, and you can do it weekly, every other week, every third week, or once a month. And we even give you 10% off on the coffees when you order and subscribe to them. And that's all just normally on our website, sprocoff.com. Subscribe to our, to our channel. We'd love to have you. We do uh, two videos a week. We do normally the cafe vlog on Mondays, and then we also do something else on Wednesdays. So this week it's Troubleshooting Espresso, next week it may be something else. And as you, if you look at our library, you'll see that we've got quite a lot of videos that have been done we got some new stuff they're working on, how we make our espresso, some of our Versus videos are coming up, and even new products that we're testing out to, uh, that we're thinking about bringing into the shop or whatever. Make sure you turn on the post notifications so that you can be notified every time we do something. But thanks for watching today. Really appreciate you, you tuning in, and uh, happy pulling. I feel like Guy Fieri.